What's going on everybody? Jay Hayes here. So today I'm going to be doing a review on Dos Chicas, two eggs that I received for the purposes of the review. I have this thing where I feel that things that are stentorian are in fact made by Watofo or Watafo or however you say it, that's who makes these mods. So I don't know whether or not I should address this as a stentorian mod or as a Watofo mod. Quick little piece of information for you. This box mod right here. Everybody thinks it's made by SIG when in fact Chaos is its own company and SIG makes it for this company. But it's not SIG that owns this name. I just want to give you that information. So it's kind of the same situation with these two box mods. They're not really too intricate. I do have two of those. Uh, I'll show you the two colors and I guess I'll go with the, um, it says yellow, but I've been told it is not yellow. It is green. That's the one we're going to be going over. Not really much to talk about on the top aside from these box mods are boxy. Those of you that know high end, you're going to think of this as a dos I think, and I hope I said that right. Dos equis? Two queefs. Dos equifs. I'm probably butchering that name. This is a very, very basic box mod. You see a lot of people using this. I've seen a couple of reviews of people using this, which made me want to jump this in line and really do a review for this basilisk, which is in fact a lizard. This is green, right? But looking at the label, this is yellow. Let's flip it. Real simple, nothing too crazy on the outside of this box. You'd be seeing on one side, on the other side, nothing. On the bottom, you have your little authenticity scratch and sniff right there. This kit contains Basilisk box mod. One piece user manual. I tempt you, I promise you, you cannot say that word one time fast. Basilisk box mod. Basilisk box mod. No, you're not gonna do it. Try it, try it right now. Let's pause this, you try. You weren't able to do it, were you? Looking on the back of this where the manufacturer information is, there's actually no mention of Watofo at all. But in fact, Watofo does make this device. I know they do. They made that A7X thing. Same name of the company. I'm, maybe I'm wrong. There's those things again. These things just keep showing up on me. So what these are, are gonna go on top of your mod. And the reason why that would go on top of your mod is so you don't scratch the silver. So then you have a little manual here multilingual when i was saying it looks like the dosa quiz this is i i'm not saying that right so i am not quite sure this has got the same type of logo of course they're two totally different boxes but it has that marlboro top to it kind of cockeyed marlboro top and this is in fact silver and yellow or silver and green there's not any ones that are actually a solid color they're all going to have some type of resin or acrylic on the side which feels like the vapor shark rubberized coating the issue i have with devices that are silver like this are very very difficult to match meaning that if you have something that's stainless steel, it doesn't really look very good on it because the stainless steel is gonna be shinier. If you have like an aluminum dripper, that would look a little bit better. But this, this color right here that you see got going on is happening on a lot of mods. I don't know if that's a fad catching on, but I'm not a fan. On the bottom there, you have a little Stentorian logo. There's a little mod, a little recycle symbol, and the sun, and maybe some clouds and chicken. It looks like actually a moose. Hold this. See how that latch works? And that's gonna flip up. Not very springy. <laughs> it's, kinda, <laughs> it's kinda stuck in that position. It doesn't, it, it's not, it needs some lubrication. It's not, it's not exactly a very floppy piece. Zero indication down there on the bottom as to how the batteries go in. However, on the bottom battery cap, you have your positive here, negative there. You're gonna see this right there you hear that what that is is little vinyl sleeves you see what i'm separating right there and that is really really gonna isolate the batteries if they do have a tear guys just for safety precautions if you do have a tear in your battery do not rely on something like this to save you just rewrap the battery it's not that big of a deal though like 25 cents i believe smoke also did this seeing the room that you have in there you will be able to have a second wrap on your battery i don't understand the reason why people would do that but there's a lot of people that do holy sh shit that's a huge screen to flip this you're gonna press the down and the fire button now when you flip it it doesn't actually flip the buttons it's still the same meaning that that was down but when you flip this around like this and you press this again 
it's basically down again. So it doesn't actually flip the configuration of the two buttons. There's not a lot of settings in this box. This is a very, very, very basic box mod, meaning that it's only designed for wattage. You won't get any temperature modes whatsoever. Makes me wonder if that is the phase that we're going to, to where we're actually ruling out temperature control. I know there's a good amount of people that use temp, but a majority of people don't use temp. They just use straight up wattage. Fire in the up button, you're gonna be presented with a little highlighted block here that says standard rebuild so you're adjusting the curves so to speak okay so that is the curve option standard is standard hitting powerful powerful plus and rebuild those are your only options that's all you get the only other option you have with this is if you press the two together that's going to lock the keys and the power meaning that if you do put something on this and fire it it will fire up at the power that is on the screen i for one like that it's basic the squid industries box model was very basic and i really really liked it it's not that it's a bad thing screen is definitely crooked though i'm sure you could see that it's up at an angle maybe if i smack it hard enough it'll go straight over here, smacking my mod. Uh, nothing's happening. We know 22 is going to work. We know 24 is going to work. Let's see if a 25 will work. 25, you're actually going to have no problems whatsoever. Really flush and a little bit more room to give. So you could essentially do a 26 or 27. Not very many 26 or 27 drippers or tanks out there this in fact is a 30 a little bit of overhang on the sides and on the front i think it's really designed for 25s the buttons on this appear to be stainless steel but i'm not quite sure if it's stainless steel or aluminum and i'm not quite sure of this i do believe it is zinc alloy bring it on the top back on top with the basilisk box mod basic box mod you know i was down and uh, I'm saying to myself, this is one of those devices that you don't even need to use for a long amount of time to see if you like this device. You kind of just open it up and you're going to be able to gauge whether or not you do like this device. It's basic. I have nothing wrong with basic mods. Absolutely nothing wrong with them. When I do have a problem is when you are asking entirely too much money for a box mod that has no specific unique features. The only thing that really makes this unique is one, the price tag, which we're not gonna go over. I'm just gonna say it's not worth what they're asking for. And then the other option you have, yeah, you get key lock, okay. You could turn it off, fantastic. And then you have the option of standard, powerful, or custom. Look, I did the review on the Squid Industries box mod and I liked it because it was different. It was designed differently. This is one of those issues where it's just literally another box mod no shit i don't even know how anybody would recommend this to anybody it is a proprietary chip it's i i guess I, i've never seen that display on anything before it doesn't feel bad the edges are not sharp they are pretty much milled down and sanded nicely the only time you do feel a little bit is in the corner there of where the battery door connects and it's a little sharp but i mean you feel it it's nothing like ooh, i'm gonna cut me some paper nope 85 watts on a 0.65 let me show you some of the vape production even though that has nothing to do with this mod All right, um, mm -hmm. very good. So how would I rate this device on a zero to 10? That guy's shirt is entirely too small for what he looks like. This guy is wearing a fucking G-string for a shirt, straight up. You seen that, Ryan? A G-string for a shirt. I'm gonna start getting me some panties and use that to cover my nipples. You know what I'm talking about. If I was to rate this on a zero to 10, I'm gonna give this like a 3.5. And that's being nice. I'm gonna give it one point because it works. I'm gonna give it another point because it does 200 watts. Uh, the other point and a half, I'm gonna give just because I feel nice today. I know there's gonna be a wide plethora and a wide array of people that own this device and love it and swear by it. If you're gonna spend a bean on a box, either make the design of the box different do something with the colors. Do something that's different. Don't just make a regular box, put your chip in it, and try to rip everybody the fuck off. That's why I start to lose my patience with the company. Whoever makes this, Watofo, Stentorian, BJ, Bobby Flay, that's Ricky Bobby. Bobby Flay is an actual chef. If he is making box mods, then this, in fact, is worth $100 that's a joke yeah i don't care who's making this box it's not anything 
nice. It's essentially like holding a mini loaf of bread. 3.5, and that's about as nice as I can get with this box mod. So no, I would not recommend this device for anybody to pick up. Matter of fact, the green and the purple one that I have, the green one that I just did the review on that's in my hand right now, and the other purple one, I will in fact 100% give them away. Basic as this box mod is, is as basic ass as this review is. And I've kept the real. Have you? Jay hands out.